So let us uh, jump in quickly to the uh, to the topic of today's uh, meeting. I just wanted to introduce it um, to give you the framework before we ask our panelists to introduce three very interesting uh, projects and approaches to digital literary studies. So uh, first of all, let's start, start really broadly. So what is digital humanities? I mean, I really like to use this, uh, uh, this slide. This is the word cloud uh, generated from uh, from this website, what is digitalhumanities.com, which contains, I don't remember, like roughly 200 definitions, user-made definitions of digital humanities. But uh, if you just map it, it gives you a great overview of what it's all about. So if you see uh, the outstanding words are new, so this is like something, uh, something new, something we, we need to explore. And of course, research, but then there's computing technology, technologies, tools. So basically this infrastructural aspect of uh, digital humanities uh, is brought to the to the fore. So this is like the main um, main um, feature of those new approaches is that they need some certain technical infrastructural support to uh, um, to, um, to to sort of uh, bring any any outcomes or uh, interesting uh, results. So the role of uh, the research infrastructure, such as Clarin, Daria, Sesda, is to uh, uh, sort of facilitate uh, this work by providing certain infrastructure, certain tools, certain uh, technologies to researchers. Um, but what actually the researchers need? That's a good question, because of course we can build infrastructure, but uh, it has to build, uh, be built for uh, someone. So um, I was uh, luckily to have been involved in in two a bit different uh, um, research projects on uh, the needs of uh, of digital humanities or people who want to use digital tools. And uh, if you click on those uh, pictures here, you can they will bring you to the report. But uh, the first uh, thing I wanted to mention is the uh, Daria survey for on scholarly practices and digital needs in the arts and humanities, which basically tries to to see what are the actual needs, what people need and want. And, and in uh, uh, from uh, from the digital tools and uh, basically I'm not going to, into more detail into with uh, with the results but uh, what's really important and interesting is that uh, uh, what is needed is also it is the support for for a kind of training a support for for providing tools and uh, and how to use those tools so that's one uh, one of the uh, sort of um, uh, outcomes of this uh, of this study. And another um, report I'm mentioning here is the big uh, uh, joint review report we prepared in uh, the Cost Action New Exploratory Phase in Research on East European Cultures of Descent. So one of our working groups uh, and uh, described in chapter five of this publication is dedicated to uh, looking for the digital needs of contemporary historians in that field. But uh, through um, the focus interviews with, uh, with those researchers, we sort of uh, discovered a certain um, uh, discrepancy between, let's say, the level of expertise, the level of needs. So between, let's say, uh, researchers who, um, who uh, know how to program, who, who sort of build cutting edge tools, uh, and, and those who are basically uh, uh, doing their own disciplinary work, but they don't know actually how to, uh, how to do it, or they, 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 they just need some tools to pursue their disciplinary um, questions. So this is roughly the, the idea of this the distinction. So basically, we, we may say that we have something like digital cutting edge, digital humanities work, so building tools, software, etc. And we have some disciplines. And basically, uh, some disciplines may just need certain knowledge just to ask or answer their disciplinary questions without sort of getting into really deep into digital humanities and into the knowledge of programming, et cetera. So this is sort of driving idea behind this workshop, going back to the beginning, is that uh, we, don't, we just want to show uh, you as literary scholars or people interested in literary studies, how to pursue your own questions, your own research questions with the digital tools. And of course, we're not going to provide you with like complete in-depth knowledge of that, but rather we just want to show you the possibilities and how you can use them in your, uh, in your research, in your work. So this is basically how we are going to do it. So our approaches would be to 
to give you the basic introduction for the sort of digitally enabled disciplinary research in, uh, in literary studies uh, by exploring three aspects we find key for, uh, for, for that. So first of all, corpus collection, uh, secondly, annotation and digital edition, and thirdly, textual analysis. So like three different aspects pertinent to literary studies work, but needing certain, I mean, sometimes similar, but, uh, but overall, let's say, quite distinct, with maybe distinctive tools, distinctive approach. So um, this panel is the sort of case study, experiential approach to, uh, to, uh, to this topic, rather than, of course, uh, extensive lecture. And, uh, and basically, we just want to provide you with some suggestion where to move next with your research and uh, how you can get support from Clarin for that matter. Thank mm -hmm. you.